Hi there! In this video, I'm going to show you how to create link triggers inside of ConvertKit. Now, link triggers are a great way of tracking who is clicking on the links that you put inside of your emails. This way, your email marketing efforts can be uber specific, very, very targeted, and relevant to your audience so that you're speaking directly to them. All right, so here's the email that I have drafted, and this is where I want the link to go. So first, I'm going to grab the URL link that I want people to click. So I go into my blog post, and this is my Squarespace backend here, and if any of you are using Squarespace, this would be useful. You go into Options, and this is where you will see the URL and this is the last bit at the end here of course it's not complete because you're going to put the rest of your website address in front All right but I'm gonna copy that that little bit right now save and I'll come back into ConvertKit and go into automations here I will create a rule and this is where the magic happens this is where ConvertKit tracks who is clicking on your links and then adds the tag. So you click add rule, clicks a link, and here I want to track anyone who is interested in my blog post about big hats. All right, and here's the link. Of course, this is not complete, so I'm going to fill it up with the rest of my website address. <laughs> Um, yeah, sophiaoja.com forward slash blog forward slash big dash cats. So this is the link I want people to click on or to go to rather. And I want them to receive a tag and I will first create the new tag and call it interested in blog about big cats. All right. So I save the rule here and it should show up the very bottom blog post about big cats. There you go, interested. Now I come back into my email right here, uh, sorry, under broadcasts, and I will plug that in. Okay, so this is the part that I want to be linked. Click this link. So you would go click on the symbol here, click insert link, and you may be tempted to write your website here or the, or the link, but you do not need to do that. In fact, that would be contrary to your goal here. It wouldn't work. You have already set that up, so you just look for your link trigger right here, and I'll check this box because I'd like it to be opened in a new tab when somebody clicks on a link insert and voila you are done make sure to save it and you are done so my dear friends i hope this was useful how you can make link triggers with convertkit go ahead and give it a try and have fun thank you